what's good my beautiful people welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing libra's love reading from the 22nd to the end of the month um just a couple quick announcements if you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram at lovely soul empress i pull a daily tarot card of the day for the overall energy uh you'll find me at lovely soul empress uh, as well, I'm running a contest from now to the end of the month. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment on a video. Uh, you'll be automatically entered. On July 1st, I will pick a winner. The winner will win a free private Celtic spread reading with me, plus a question of their uh, choosing. And the clarifiers, I will comment under the winner. They will have 48 hours to get back to me. If not, I will move on to the next person. As I said, this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as for the uh, Cross Watcher. If you're dealing with a Libra or someone who has these important placements, this cannot resonate with all Libras. But if it resonates, pre please like, subscribe, and comment as well. Um, the energies can be reversed. Uh, there's no gender in tarot, so uh, remember that we're talking about the energies. And like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I already prayed, shuffled, meditated, and cleared the Zex with Palo Santo. So we're going to jump right in and clear the energy. If you'd like to clear your energy with me, just close your eyes and I shall begin. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be a seven card love spread. Spirit, show me what you have for Libra, please. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, Libra, 22nd from to the 28th. Spirit, June. Libra spirit messages for Libra most important messages they need to know right now spirit messages for Libra gang spirit most important messages they need to know right now for their highest good One more spirit for the highest good spirit. Thank you, spirit. At the bottom of the deck of the two of coins. Libra, you have the Ten of Baskets. This is the happy home, happy life, happy wife card. This is what we're all striving for. You have the grandchildren, which is the star. Uh, this talks about the universal guidance, blessing from the universe, ancestors, okay? Then this talks about the father of coins. Uh, you um, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a very reliable king. He's stable. He can be a CEO, a manager, an independent contractor. He's about his coins. He's reliable. He's a family man. Sometimes he's married. Okay, then you have the two of coins at the heart of the matter. So this is talking about a decision, uh, juggling, making a decision between two things. So this could be juggling um, any two things like career um, and love, or it could be two people or two situations, okay? Then your partner has the four of knives. So this is talking about resting, going within, trying to recuperate and recover. Then this is the four of baskets, okay? So this is talking about a love offer, not wanting to take a love offer, or being afraid to, to make a love offer, or feeling indifferent about a love offer. 
And then your partner also has the Two of Baskets, which is the Two of Cups. This is Lover's Minor Arcana. Okay, so we're going to get some clarification on this and see what's going on, my Libra gang. Spirit, why is the Ten of Baskets here? That was a jumper. So, the Three of Cups came out. So this happy life, happy wife, happy family card is being clarified by the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups can have several meanings. This could be wanting to celebrate because of this happy life, happy wife, happy family card. Or this could denote a three, third party. Or this could denote just celebrating with your friends, okay? Now the Six of Swords talking about moving away to calmer waters. And then that is clarified with the Queen of Swords, which is you, Libra. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone in that energy. So you're wanting to move away. Um, there might have been a third party situation or maybe you just want this happy life, happy wife card. Um, you want to celebrate that with someone. All right. But you're uh, the queen of swords. So you're making head over heart decisions at this time, cutting away things that no longer serve you. Spirit wise, the grandchildren here, the star card for my Libra gang. Libra spirit. So uh, the grandchildren, as it says, the star card, this is a blessing from the universe. Um, you could have been asking the universe for something. Um, you could be uh, getting recognition at this time. So first off, the grandchildren is being clarified by a high priestess, which is a Gemini or a Taurus. Now, um, what I'm seeing here is that this person is highly intuitive, highly intuitive. Okay, and with this star card, uh, they might actually be working in the spiritual realm. Now, as well, this also talks about an intuition. So you might have had some type of intuition uh, about a situation or your person did, but it's coming down on you. Um, then this is being clarified by the Eight of Wands, which is talking about fast moving communication. This could be passionate messages. This could be travel for passion. Um, this could be uh, messages on the internet, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles, again, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a stable night. This is the slowest moving night, but he's the most trustworthy. His offers are solid, okay? So there might have been intuition about some passionate messages being um, going back and forth with this juggling co uh, card here sitting next to this. And those three of cups tells me that somebody was had a third, third party you're wanting to move away um, to calmer waters. Now, if you were the person who had a third party, you're cutting someone off. If you, um, if your partner had a third party, you are ready to cut them out over it. Okay, you might have gotten this information from the divine with this star being clarified by the high priestess. All right, let's continue. Spirit, Father of Coins. Why is the Father of Coins here for Libra, Spirit? Why is the Father of Coins here for Libra? Libra, Spirit, why is the Father of Coins here for Libra? Why is the Father of Coins here with the Hangman, Spirit? Why is the Father of Coins here with the Hangman? Why is the Father of Coins here with the Hangman, Spirit? Why is the Father of Coins here with the Hangman? Okay, you got judgment. So this father of coins, like I said, could be a CEO, independent contractor, a boss, someone with authority. Um, they're a family man and they are in hangman position. Or you could be taking on this energy. Like I said, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, right? But this person is stuck in their heads right now. They're trying to get a new perspective because of this third party situation. Judgment came in and blew the horn. Okay, so that could be talking about 
um, a new perspective with this uh, hangman and then judgment can mean a legal judgment, a judgment from the universe, or you making a final judgment on whether you want to be with this person or not because the judgment can be a reconciliation card, okay? Spirit, why is the two of coins here for my Libra gang? Two of coins... So there was some type of uh, toxicity. Like I said, this two of coins denotes some juggling. Uh, the toxicity was the third party. Queen of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, or Sag, or somebody in that energy. This is a, a confident, um, self-assured, sassy, independent, go-getter energy, okay? She's sexy and she has a lot of suitors, okay? So you might be seeing your partner like that or they might be seeing you like that or this actually could be the third party who interfered, okay? Because it's at the heart of the matter. So take it how it resonates, okay? Like I said, they could be seeing you like that, you could be seeing them like that or this could be the third party showing up. Spirit, why does Libra's partner have the Four of Knives, Spirit? Why does Libra's partner have the Four of Knives? June 22nd to June um, 28th, Spirit. So the Justice card came out. So some type of karma was given out in this situation. Spirit, Four of Knives and Justice, Spirit. Why the Four of Knives and Justice for Libra's partner, Spirit? Four of Knives with Justice for Libra's partner. Why, Spirit? Why the Four of Knives with, with Justice? Page of Wands. So this person went within. Uh, they're trying to heal and rest because karma came down in reference to this um, Page of Wands is a passionate offer. So whether you were the one who was cheating and then they went in and started... Um, trying to heal from this when they found out about this passionate offer or they had the, the third party and um, karma came down on them and now they're trying to heal because you found out about this passionate offer. Spirit, four baskets, spirit. Why does Libra's partner have the four baskets? Four baskets, spirit. That's too many, Spirit. Four baskets. Four baskets. So they're afraid. Um, so if it's you, because you have the Knight of Pentacles over here on your side trying to make a love offer. Um... If it's you making the love offer, they're unsure if they should take it because uh, everything that happened with this third party, it really hurt them with this four of knives having to go into uh, rest and healing, okay? But they really do want the victory with you because the six of wands is clarifying that and the two of cups is here and the two of cups is here twice. So they see you as their soulmate, okay? Um, but they're injured. Now, in the reverse, if they were the one who was cheating, then they see it like they want this victory with you, but they're afraid that you won't take their love offer. So they're scared to come in because um, they're feeling like um, you might um, reject them. Now, as well, if you were the one who had the third party, they might be feeling like that because they feel like you're still with that other person. That could be possible too. Spirit, why does Libra's partner have the two of baskets, Spirit? Why the two of baskets? So the two of baskets is a love... Uh, it's the main minor arcana of the lovers, okay? So it denotes true love, right? With the two of pentacles. It also 
they recognize that you were juggling or they were juggling but they want to cut that out this queen of cups this queen of cups is a loving intuitive caring uh like a maternal nurturing figure that's being clarified by the four of cups and the eight of pentacles so the four of cups again with not sure about taking a love offer and the eight of pentacles it's a lot of hard work so if you um were the person who stepped out on this person they're unsure about taking this cup of love because they feel like um you might still be juggling right and right now we have one two three queens on the board with a six of pentacles i mean six of wands talking about victory but that also could be the attention card so this person could like a lot of attention right in the reverse if they were the one who was juggling right you're concerned about taking their love offer because you're not sure if all of these other individuals are gone and you know that it'll be hard work at the bottom of the deck is the eight of cups considering walking away spirit why is the two of knives the overall energy for the libra reading spirit two of knives with the seven of wands spirit why the two of knives with the seven of wands Two of knives with the seven of wands. Okay, because you're at a crossroads, or they are, about the decision, because there was a lot of competition, just as I just said, you're standing your ground right now, or they are. They know, though, that this is like soulmate connection. It's right here. And they're stuck in their heads about this indecision or you are, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, there was betrayal and it was a lot, okay? Somebody was giving to two situations. Um, but now they want to offer their ace of pentacle because it's wish fulfillment. There's The other person is still stuck in their heads because they felt left out in the cold. You might actually be spying or the person spying on you. They're going to contact you, though, and offer something like, let's go to lunch. Um, they've been resting and healing. They have regrets and love. The star is here talking about um, the universe showing favor. The sun, the happiest card in the deck, being bringing illumination to this decision about passion. Okay, so um, that's what I have. Now, let's get some love messages really quickly spirit how does libra feel about their partner spirit how does libra feel about their partner libra june 22nd to the 28th spirit how does libra feel about their partner spirit libra how do they feel about their partner spirit how do they feel about their partner spirit libra so you feel there's a strong attraction there and you're trying to keep it playful right now you may be flirting with this person. You see that there's unro uh, there's romantic feelings here. Spirit, how does Libra's partner feel about them? How does Libra's partner feel about them, Spirit? How does Libra's partner feel about them, Spirit? How does Libra's partner feel about them? How does Libra's partner feel about them? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Spirit. June 22nd to 28th. How does Libra's partner feel about them, Spirit? How does Libra's partner feel? So they feel like they want you to know it's safe for you to love. They're trying to stay optimistic, okay? But there's religious factors here. Now, this can mean age, race, religion, um, or just general upbringing, like different values. But they're still trying to keep an open mind at the bottom of the deck is true love. So they do love you. Spirit, what actions will Libra be taking towards their partner? Spirit, what actions will Libra be taking towards their partner? June 22nd to the 28th, Spirit. What actions will Libra be taking towards their partner, Spirit? So there's a lot of passion here. And you want to give your relationship a chance. Bottom of the deck, forgiving and learning. You want to express your love. There's romantic feelings here. You want them to trust you or you trust them. 
um flirting you feel like this could be the one you want to come out of separation the engagement card is here but there's still some type of deception spirit what actions will libra's partner take what actions will libra's partner take sun moon rising in venus june 22nd to the 28th spirit what actions will libra's partner take they're calling in their soulmate. They believe this is a past life relationship. They feel you deserve love. They have the reconciliation card here. So they are definitely considering it, but they're paying attention to the red flags, okay? So very soon, some type of decision is gonna be made. Spirit, what is the outcome for this situation? Spirit, what's the outcome for this situation for my Libra gang? What's the outcome for the situation? Libra, spirit. So um, you or they might be concentrating on finances and careers. Separation is still here. So you guys are not coming out of this right away. Heart to heart conversations. New love is here. So there might be someone coming on the scene for either or of you. Okay. So that's what I have for you, my Libra gang. I'm going to get some advice from Spirit. And we'll close this out. So Spirit is saying, don't worry, be happy. All right, you've been stuck in your head. This Two of Knives and Two of Swords. Two of Knives and Nine of Swords, right? Um, because judgment was here, so was the star. You had the lovers. So things are going to come to some type of um, uh, clarity. But um, it may not be this week, okay? Okay. So that's what I have for you, my Libras. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.